Hello and welcome. So, back in the lab again for the final part of the Tramadol study. And it went something like this. Right. Let's go. So I'm just coming to the end of the 30 minutes at 294 watts before starting the 40k time trial. The protocol for this visit is exactly the same as the first time trial visit. If you've not already seen a video for that, have a look as I explain the test in a bit more detail there and I'll leave a link in the description below. The only difference is the drink I took 40 minutes before the start contained the opposite of whatever I had last week, but I don't know what it is. The other important difference worth noting is I've pulled out the big guns and donned the white shorts this week. So would it be possible to see any difference during the test or even afterwards? So for a comparison, at the end of the 30 minute effort, I've put um, the first test on the left in the red shorts and on the right is the second test in the uh, white shorts. So you can see my, pa facial, my facial expression is a bit more relaxed on the right um, and I look a bit, bit more of a pained expression on my face on the left. I'm definitely moving around less on the right and I certainly don't feel as tired com as compared to last week. So here we go, I'm giving some feedback now on my pain levels um, and during this minute the resistance level on the bike is taken right off and you can see the difference in cadence. Um, on the first test on the left I'm much more sluggish compared to the right where I'm spinning away like a crazy mad spinning thing and I can remember this quite clearly. Um, yeah, my pain levels for the second test were noticeably lower and at this point I began to suspect that today was in fact the day that I had tramadol. So yeah, just getting ready to start the uh, 40k of fun now. So as in the first time trial, I only see the distance covered. There's no power, um, heart rate, cadence, any of that sort of uh, information for me to see. So there we go. Right, indeed. Thank you. And away we go for another 40k of lab based and possibly drug assisted fun. So this is about 20k into the time trial and it's feeling much much better than last week and it certainly feels like a good leg today. So again for comparison uh, to the first TT which is on the left again you can see the difference. Um, I'm working hard on the right, but I don't have the pain expression on my face. Um, and on the left, I'm hanging on a bit. Um, but on the right, I seem to be a bit more in control of the effort. And it certainly felt a lot better at this point than the second time trial compared to the first. Another leg stretch, um, settle back into the effort. On the right, meanwhile, on the left, I'm busy pulling faces warming up for the Girling Championships. So at this point I'm mentally feeling a lot um, stronger and I'm confident that I can maintain this pace and when I don't look it I'm a lot happier. So I'm into the second half of the ride now I'm back counting the elephants. So it's about 30k done and the effort is starting to take its toll. What I found on this TT was there was a bit of a disconnect between the effort I was putting into the pedals and the pain I was feeling. The pain was certainly less for this TT and in that way the effort seemed easier but I was still breathing really hard. Yeah, there you go, 30k. And I, and I really didn't have the strength in my legs to push any harder. It really was um, an all-in effort. And you see what I mean about breathing here. Tensing up a bit as well. Yeah, it's starting to hurt now again despite what I think was a tramadol. So another comparison with the first test, this is just over 30 kilometers. I mean, let's be fair, I don't look particularly great in either now, but I did feel stronger and more control on the second test on the right. I also remember feeling confident in the second test that I'd be able to maintain this kind of effort all the way, although it would be a bit of a uh, challenge. Yeah, I can remember now having to sort of concentrate and gather myself and focus in on turning the pedals as efficiently as I could and then it kind of it all get a bit messy again and fall apart so I'd have to go through the process again. I'm not really thinking of anything much now other than keeping going and despite all this I can promise you it's a lot better than the first time trial.
35k. I mean, Tramadol or not, I'm in a real suffer zone now, trying to squeeze out every last bit of energy. <laughs> what a state. What an absolute state. So this is well into the last 5k now, and I'm really starting to sway around a lot more on the bike, and I'm sure that this is partly because I was able to go deeper than I if, um, than last week, and if I had been given a tramadol for this test, it would have really been into my system by now and taking effect on my balance and my general sort of cognitive function, and I certainly couldn't have said that at the time. I was actually not aware of how much I was swaying around either, um, but both Chris and Sam in a lab commented after the test, I'm watching a video I can really see for myself now. I mean, if I was riding like this on the road, I would have crashed into a ditch by now. Come on. Last few minutes now. I think probably into the last mile now. Um, yeah, tank's pretty empty and I'm just running on fumes. As I, I think I'm just coming up to the last K. It's all getting desperate and I'm all in here. Come on. I mean, for the first time trial, I wasn't able to dig quite as deep at the end as I am now, but cardiovascular wise, I'm right at my limit. Whereas the first TT, it was a pain in my legs that was limiting me. As I'm sure, as I've said, I'm pretty sure I had tramadol for this test. It just seemed that bit easier to dig, that little bit deeper. Come on, think of that prize money. And look, Chris and Sam in the background, they're probably standing there thinking, come on, Mark, hurry up. Got to get home for some dinner tonight. I mean, this has got to be a worth a thumbs up, or even a thumbs down if you don't think I'm trying hard enough. Come on, coming up to the line. So that's it, oh, bollocks. Forgot to throw the bike at the line as well, which cost me a few tenths of a second, I don't know, amateur. So the distance coldly clicked over to 40k. Resistance released from the pedals, and that was it, no fanfare. Oh, it's definitely different. Yeah. Right, right now I actually feel a little bit um woozy and light headed. Mm. I did a bit last week, this feels a bit different. But the like the pain in my legs definitely wasn't as sharp, but they're still feeling like got a heavy fatigue in them. And I definitely felt better after the 30 minutes this week. I think going with me is just going off too fast again. Even though I was thinking, no, come on. But, oh, sorry, I'm. No, 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 no. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, definitely feel a bit. Things aren't spinning, but yeah. kind of just like I've had something. A little bit off, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. If I was to put my new one outside, I'd have the camera on now, but. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't actually think, but just from my own gut feel, that I did it. The time is much different. I don't know. I'll write it down and can tell you. So you think think criminal today, see you last week? Sitting here now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. Can you commit to that? <laughs> yeah, I'll commit to that because I, I definitely feel a bit yeah. like napping, but I don't feel as napping as last week. I had it broken, but I just feel a bit wide now. And a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going yeah. Okay. I'm going for that. So that's enough post-ride waffle. I just want to make it clear, I had to confirm which test I thought was with Tramadol and which was with the placebo to the guys. And then um, once I've done that they could tell me my times for the time trial. So in that way I wouldn't be influenced if I thought I'd had Tramadol or um, placebo after knowing the times, if that kind of makes sense. The study is completed around May 2021, and that's when I'll find out definitively which test was with placebo and which was with tramadol. And I'll do a quick update video then if people are interested. Um, and I can also put up some of my power and heart rate figures as well, again, if people are interested. Just let me know if you are in the comments. So I'll leave you with my thoughts as I wander back to the car park. Well, that was fun. And uh, I'm being serious there. I actually, for some sort of strange way, kind of enjoyed that. Definitely had the tramadol at this time, definitely. Um, I had a lot less pain uh, through the whole test and um, I did a significantly better time as well. Uh, the, uh, the guys were good enough to tell me the times. I've got to keep it to myself. So uh, 
mum's the word. Um, but yeah, I'm standing there now, I feel a little bit weird, um, which is probably nothing new, some of you might say. Yeah, I feel a little bit weird, but my legs um, feel pretty okay. They're tired, but they're not, not absolutely smashed, and um, I feel all right generally. I think last week I was an absolute broken heap of a man, and now I'm a, just a gibbering idiot talking nonsense um, who's off his tits on Tramadol. I'm now going to proceed slowly and in a sensible fashion to the vehicle which is going to take me home, which will be driven by Jill, and um, hopefully she'll cook me some tea when I get home. So, thank you so much for watching these. Hope you've enjoyed this little series I've put together. Um, there's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears gone into it, so if you have enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, and um, hopefully I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers then, bye. And that's Jill ringing just now.